Okay, finally, we're going to try to do a map today. Uh, this is the mold that I got from Alan Robertson that you've seen in some of the other videos. I think I've got all the material here that we need. This is uh, like a two gallon bucket and it's uh, not quite half full of water. 100% uh, silicon. I've got two tubes. For this size mat, it, uh, Alan says that it takes like a tube and a half. And the most important ingredient here is the Dawn dish soap. And that's what this is. It's kind of an orange colored, but it's still Dawn. So I guess the first order of business is to uh, make a little room here. And we're going to get our water ready by putting the Dawn dish soap in it. So as, as Robert, uh, Alan does, and uh, it takes a little bit of Dawn dish soap to do this, so we'll try that much. Then we'll test it. Just kind of mix it around. So then, the test is this. We got the caulking gun with our 100% uh, silicon. I think I might have this one plumbed. Hang on a minute, I gotta clean this this out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just put a little bit of this hundred percent silicon into the water with the soap and mix it around, let it sit there for a while and this is how you test to see if it's uh, too much soap or not enough. It should, in a few minutes, uh, get where it can ball up, in which it's doing that. You can see the ball, and it's not sticky, and it's not pulling apart. So I think that's a good, good mixer right there. there. There's not an exact measurement for this. But uh, that seems to be working really well right there. That's uh, for all the longer it's been in there. It's not sticking to my fingers. So it looks good. So we'll put him over there and let him sit. So let me get my hand dried off here and then we'll uh, continue. Okay, so it's not to just bore you to death, some of these things that I'm going to do here, uh, uh, I won't go ahead and show how I did it, but I'm just going to tell you, I put a new tube of uh, caulking in the caulking gun, cut the end off and open it up, so there's no sense in you watching that. Um, got the soap uh, in the water and that's all ready. I found my uh, green dye, I got some green food dye that I'm going to use on the silicon. So I have green mats. I just, I've always liked green mats, so that's kind of what I'm going to do. So I am going to do gloves. As you can see here, I'm putting on uh, these uh, nitro gloves. And like Alan says, I'm going to put a little bit of soap on the gloves, you know, just so you can handle all this stuff, uh, especially when it gets, I'm probably premature on that, but just so when you start handling it, you can uh, not have it stick to your gloves. So first order of business is to get a tube and a half of caulking. So we'll empty this guy, 
And I've cut a piece of cardboard here that this is laying on. You probably can't see that. No, you can't. There you go. It's right there. So we'll get this whole tube out. And when you do this, make don't just punch one little bitty hole in your tube where you'll be forever. Yeah. I punch about three or four holes in the nozzle of the tube. And that one's dead. So there's one. So I'm gonna do this other one. I'm gonna shut the camera off till it's ready. Okay, so I'm back. Got another tube. Now I'm gonna go half a tube here. I'm just getting them all squirted out. And this isn't going to be precise either, it's going to be close to a half. Okay, that's going to be close enough, I think. So, now we got that, now we want to do the food color. And I'm using, I'm using just a flat blade here. And we'll uh, make a little dam here for it. And Alan says 15 drops, so I don't know if I can do 15 drops without spilling it everywhere, which I've seen him do, by the way. Okay. Okay, pretty good. So the trick is the silicone doesn't like the dye. So you got to get it all moved into there. And just keep mixing it. Whether it likes it or not, you're going to put it in there. And we're getting a nice green now. But you got to get it all the way through. And therein is the problem usually. I may have to shorten this up a little bit. Man, these fumes are bad here. But it's getting pretty close right there. It's kind of like baking. If you ever guys have ever done any baking or cooking of any kind. Okay, I think we're pretty good right there. So, next order of business is try to get this off the cardboard in as much of one clump as you can and keep it all together. Let's see, I can see some voids where I didn't get mixed real well here, but that's just the way it's going to have to go. So I want to try to keep that in one piece, so just throw everything in there including the knife. Now you got to pretend like you're making bread. <coughs> Just keep squeezing this and squeezing it and squeezing it. I think I could use a little bit more soap on my glove. Especially after playing with all that stuff, so let's do that. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay. And we'll just keep mixing it up. Get rid of that knife. And keep it together in one ball if you can. Now I don't think there's any time frame for this either. Other than just seeing that when it can stay together as a ball, it doesn't stick. doesn't help to go faster or anything. It just, you just got to keep working it. See, we're getting there. We're uh, it's staying together. It's not sticking too bad to my gloves yet, but let's keep working her some more. 
and this is really going to be the boring part of this because you can't see what I'm doing here. I'm just pretending I'm making bread, just kneading the dough. So you want to get this Dawn dish up, worked into it all over. Make sure it's Dawn dish soap. And people have tried other things and it just doesn't work as good. Now it seems to be holding together okay. You know, it's a nice little ball here. Got to get the water out of it. And it's not sticking to me, so that's good. So the next thing is get as much water out of it as we can. And then, let's tuck it out of the way a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to put it on the mold. Hopefully I'm remembering everything. Okay, so what we're going to do, you're just going to squish it flat here. Push it to every corner of the mold. And this is one of Alan's 3D printed molds. And just want to get it up in every corner. Don't leave any voids anywhere, no holes or anything. Okay. So now, what we do, we're going to get a piece of saran wrap that I pre cut because this came out of the house and I'll be in lots of trouble if I got silicone all over the box of saran wrap. So there it is. So now I didn't have a piece of glass like Alan had but I've got this masonite so what we want to do is we want to squish this down in here everywhere. Just make sure it's Push down in every part of the mat or the mold. And it does squish, squish around for you. Now, unfortunately, this is my grinding table and it, it moves around also, so it creates some havoc here, but I think it'll be okay. Let's see what that looks like. And there we are, we're all around the edge. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. So, now, it's on my clock, it's 10 o'clock straight up, so we're going to let her sit there for a while and come back and see what we got. So, I'll see you in, uh, in about a half hour. Okay, it's not been quite a half hour yet. It's about 20 some minutes, just a little over 20 minutes, see what we got. Peel this back a little bit. Oh yeah, look at there. It's setting up. Oh yeah. Okie dokie, we'll peel that off. It's a little tacky, we're going to let it go for a little bit longer, I think. That's pretty good. Okay, we're right at about 30 minutes, and this is all set, so what we'll do is I'm going to trim it here in the mold like Alan does, at least I think I'm going to do this, there we go, do the same on this side. Sure, I'm getting her cut all the way. <coughs> this is really horrible stuff to read. I see I didn't get this as even as he does on his. Get this one again. Theoretically, I should be able to peel this excess. That went good. Except for right there. There we go. That can go away. And that can go away. 
So now, what we'll do is pull this end piece off. Should be able to just do that. And looky there, my first silicon mat. <coughs> there she is. To me, it looks perfect. I don't know if you can see this profile, but it's pretty dang good. Huh? My first try. So I'm going to do the other. Uh, I got six more to go. So, anyhow, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Thanks, Alan Robertson. This is the best thing I've ever done. As the title of this video states, my silicon mats do exist. And look here. Here they are. Got the deep one here and the other shallow one and these will be joined together similar to that and then I've only got four more to do alright there you have it then